Hi everybody, welcome to Vickyville. I wanted to share a short video with you all about projects that I worked on for October but never got a chance to film on. So I hope I'm a little bit late, but I hope that you do enjoy it anyways. And I wanted to start off with a stamp set that I adore because I love this movie and it's from Kindred Stamps and it looks like it's Nightmare Before Christmas. And let me show you what projects I made with these. I went to Hobby Lobby and I just bought a few of those little uh, crepe paper bags, little ones. And here's the first one, it's Jack and Santa. Added these like little uh, Dollar Tree spiders with some ribbon and the alternative colored crepe paper in that mint color. And I thought that was so cute. I made this one here. This is Jack and Sally. And I just colored them and used purple crepe paper and that I thought that was super cute and then last but not least here's Oogie Boogie the little pumpkin and I used the green uh, crepe paper rosette with just some bling here and some ribbon and so it's fun just to layer I also made this really cute um, pop-up card using that same stamp set and there's Jack and Sally I added some a bunch of fun embellishments. There's Dot, there's the Santa Claus, there's Oogie Boogie in the back, if you could see. And so here is the pop-up card. And I just added this black embellishment all across, so it made it really chunky. I'll, pro I'll try to take a photo so you can see it better, but it's just a pop-up card, and that's the way it looks. So you would get it in the mail like that. And I thought that was super cute. Okay, um, let's see. I also just decorated these bows using my Sizzix die cut, but I got, I wanted to show you, I got this chunky paper from Hobby Lobby, and this was an old Stamping Up bow die, and look at how cute that would be for a package. I actually used it on a few gifts for Halloween, but it's like really fun and chunky glitter paper. Let's see. I also made this one, and I, and I just like this paper. It was like black patent leather, it looks like. So that would be cute for a gift as well. And I believe that's it. So then the next thing I used was, I've been using this stamp set a lot. It's from Kindred Stamps as well. And it's the Frida, my friend Tina bought me this. And I adore her. And so I know it's not essentially Chris or Halloween, but I just thought it looked so cute as Halloween, you know? So I made Frida a little zombie girl, and I just did the black uh, crepe paper rosette in orange, and layered or added this Dollar Tree spider, and I thought this would be so cute as Happy Mail or on a, on a present, and so that was fun. Then I made this one, and it's just fun trying to look in your stash you know, in my cart, I had all kinds of stuff that I could use for Halloween. So this is another, like, I essentially it would be something that you could put on a bag. But I just used this black and white trim that I had. And I thought that turned out really cute. It says the Boo Crew. And there she is. And I had some of this old Mona Me Gabby um, rough, like, background. I don't know if you can see. It's like jute, kind of. And I thought that was super cute. Just added some ephemera and... She turned out super cute, so there's that one. Then I made this one. I thought this was really cute. And this is a Frida with a crocheted heart in the background with some, um, what are these, Kella lilies? And it says, I'm here for the booze. <laughs> and then just a spider on the black. I did the black um, crepe paper, but then I just added gold trim to it. And I kind of colored her with my Copics using the colors that I knew that I would use. And so I thought that was super cute. And then last but not least, I made this fun embellishment. I used my, um, this is one of those dies that's like a pinwheel. And I had this old um, mesh and I created a bow with that. Just added an orange spider and some, I don't know if you could really see because of the light, but I thought she was super cute and fun. And I just added that same black and white trim in the background. And how fun is that? So those were a few of my favorite Halloween projects that I made that I didn't get a chance to show with you. And I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I'm gonna get ready to start doing some uh, Thanksgiving filming. So in Christmas, who doesn't love Christmas? So thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Oh, and I'm gonna, uh, my next few videos are gonna be all about Wandering Planners event that we had in Ontario, California. So if you'd like to see that, let me know because I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share with you everything. It's gonna be so much fun. So stay tuned, that'll be coming up very shortly. Love you guys, bye.